Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Nintendo Switch emulator, which is Eden. Now, Eden is a fairly new emulator, and of course, it's a fork of the famous Yuzu emulator. I'm going to be showing you how we can actually use different groups within the emulator itself to play against other players online across the world. I'm also going to be showing you how to use updates for your games as well as adding DLC, and we're going to take a look at control settings and everything else in between. So, first of all, we're we're going to go over to the Eden website and we're going to download Eden Nintendo Switch emulator. So yes, this is a very snazzy and definitely 1980s inspired website with its neon glow. Very cool looking website, I got to say. Now we're going to go over to download and we're going to download the version for Windows. And as you can see just here, this is also available for Mac OS, Linux, as well as Android. And of course, every different operating system here is going to have different results. But the website itself are are actually recommending this to be used on Windows as you can see we're just going to download this and this is the latest version of recording this video which is 0.0.3 now what we're going to do from the github page is just scroll downwards and what we're going to do for the Windows version if we just go to show all 15 assets this is going to expand what we can download just here and the one we need for windows is the amd 64.zip just download this one now interestingly enough if we go back to this really funky website just here we've actually got a compatibility tab and we can see what's running and what's not running so well with this emulator now i'm not sure how up to date this actually is but by the seems a bit a lot of games are actually running pretty well with this if we go to view all reports on emu ready and from here we're going to go to browse pc compatibility and just here on this website on emuready.com if we go under emulators now under Eden, again, just like the main Eden website, I'm not sure how accurate or up to date this is, but if we just scroll through here, we'll find that Eden is actually running a lot of games with perfect or even playable status. So I'll leave that up for you to check that out. So what we're going to do then is actually start installing Eden emulator. So I've got the zip folder on my desktop, which I've just downloaded. And what we're going to need to do here is extract this into a separate folder. So what I'm going to do is right click on the desktop, new folder, and I'm going to call this folder Eden. Then I'm going to drag and drop all of the contents into that Eden folder. Okay, now let me just give you a heads up. We're not going to get a shortcut of this. So what I recommend you doing here, since we don't get a shortcut of this, is just right clicking on Eden.exe and scroll down to show more options. And we're going to send to desktop create shortcut and there we go it's very easy to access now okay since we've now got this shortcut on the desktop i'm going to open it up from here for the first time so double left click first thing you're going to see is encryption keys are missing now this is actually prod.keys if i go into my switch games folder okay so we got prod.keys just here and this is the file we need for the encryption situation so what we're going to do is actually install that prod.keys if we go to tools install the encryption keys and you need to do this first before installing the firmware what we're going to do is just navigate to where that prod.keys file was located so it's in my switch games folder and here it is prod.keys double left click the encryption keys were successfully installed okay so if i go back to my switch games folder i've got firmware 20.1.1 and this is working fine with the latest version of Eden. So we're going to install this now. And just remember, you don't need to extract that zip folder of the firmware. So you need to install this how it is. We're going to go to tools, install firmware, and we're going to install it from zip. And here we go. So in my Switch Games folder, it's now showing us my firmware 20.1.1 zip folder. Double left click. And we're just going to wait a few seconds for that one to install. Okay, excellent stuff. Next thing we're going to want to do is actually add this Switch Games folder. As we can see just here, it says double click to add a new folder to the game list. I'm going to double left click and I'm going to actually select this folder, which is already done for me. Desktop, Switch Games, select folder. And here's my games. So we're now going to take a look at installing updates in DLC. So I've got Sonic Mania just here. And what I'm going to need to do then is go to file and install files to NAND. 
Now, install files to NAND means that we can install DLC and updates, but not the actual base games themselves. So here's all my game files just here. So first of all, I'm going to install the update of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. If I double left click, I'm then going to make sure that's checked and I'm going to go to install. Okay, as we can now see, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is now updated to the most recent version. Now I've got Sonic Mania, and with Sonic Mania, I've got an update for the game and I've also got DLC. So we're going to go to File, Install Files to NAND, and I'm going to select my update for the base game of Sonic Mania and install. And as we can see, Sonic Mania is now updated and we're going to do the same again with DLC. So again, file, install files and Sonic Mania Encore DLC and install. Okay, excellent stuff. Now, it's been reported, and I did experience this myself, that using Eden, when opening up some games sometimes, it's going to give us a little window pop-up, and it's not going to let us run the game. So what I'm going to do for this is show you how to disable a particular option to prevent it from happening to you. If we go over to Emulation, Configure, we're going to go to the System section, and just make sure under device name, disable NCA verification is unchecked and you won't get that prompt come up. If I go to OK. Okay, before I start showing you the gameplay, what we're going to do is take a look at the different rooms we can join to play some of these games online with other players across the world. At the bottom right hand side here, it says not connected. Click here to find a room. If I left click, as we can see, we got lots of different rooms with different players on. If I select games I own, we can see we've got lots of different rooms with players across the world playing this game right now as I'm recording this video. So just as an example, I'm going to check out this EU main. If I double left click, it now says I'm connected and we can actually see the different members playing this game right now. Very cool stuff. If I close that down and close again, we're now connected. And if I was to open up Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, then I'll be connected with those players. So what we're going to do is look in it, enhancing some of the games, how they look. We're going to go for Sonic Mania. If I right click on this game, and bear in mind, we can do the same process with every game per game. We're going to go down to configure game. And from here, we can actually ask it to update or use the DLC. If you don't want to use either of these, just uncheck them. We're going to go to graphics and under API, I'm going to recommend leaving this to Vulkan. If you find some games give you a black screen, then use something like OpenGL, but I'm going to leave this on Vulkan. Under device, select your graphics card if you've got one. Under full screen mode, we're going to put this to exclusive full screen rather than the game open up in a window mode. Under resolution, we can actually pop this up to a higher resolution, but just bear in mind some of these actually stay experimental and other higher resolutions might cause the game to crash. So just for this, I'm going to leave it on the default of 720 to 1080p. If I go to advanced graphics tab, we can apply some anstropic filtering. I'm going to pop this onto two times. And if I then go down to OK, next thing I'm going to want to do is just make sure my controller is connected correctly. I'm going to go to emulation, configure, and I'm going to go to the bottom section, controls. I'm going to leave this on Pro Controller and Input Device, I'm going to select my Xbox controller for this. Now, hopefully, just like myself, this will automatically configure for you. If it doesn't, then just left click on each one of the buttons just here and then map out your controls. Just make sure to save your profile too. So we're going to go to New and I'm going to call this Switch. If I go to OK, I'm then going to save that profile. So we've got those controller settings saved I'm then going to go down to OK. Let me give you a little heads up. We're actually going to make a profile. We're going to go to emulation once again, configure. We're then going to go down to system and profiles. And just here we can actually make a profile. So I'm going to go to add and I'm going to call this profile just Jamie. If I then go to OK, set image. And I'm going to give this a very snazzy image of myself sporting a Commodore bag. I'm then going to go to OK, so I'm going to open up a game and I'm going to choose Sonic Mania. Now if you don't set to open up these games in full screen through the settings per game, just go to view, full screen,
Okay, and that wraps up today's Eden Emulator setup guide. So hopefully at this point, I've now got you up and running. If you liked today's video, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content as well as retro gaming reviews on this channel. And of course, thanks for watching and until next time, stay retro.